play and then get back with our turnaround. I'll go right to questions. So, Jeff. Greg, how, how can you, in your own mind, explain the, the, the way tonight unfolded? You let them get comfortable early. That's it right there. We let them get comfortable early. Something we had talked about, knowing that the talent they've got in this group, that they can do that to you if you let them get comfortable. And we didn't follow what we had talked about for two days here in, in terms of letting them do what they wanted to do. And you get a little confidence right from the start. And you know, we gamble on a post pass, we miss it, and Thompson dunks it, and it ignites a fire right from the start. And then we make some mistakes on screens. We don't get the ball stopped on a on dribble drives at times. And again, once they get a couple easy ones to go in, then they hit some tough shots. And we give them credit. Um, you know, um, that's the best they've shot the ball in a while. But we we played into that a lot, especially early. In addition to that, the rebounds and differential in points in the paint, particularly in the first half, that's got to be a little mm -hmm. bit. That's that's when you're when you're locked in to it all the time. Those things don't happen, um, and obviously they were quicker to the ball too. I mean the numbers told the story in the first half. I, as soon as I saw the st stat sheet, it confirmed what my eyes told me in the first half, and that's something again we talked about in terms of the uh, sense of urgency because we knew they would likely play with the sense of urgency more so than what they maybe played with in Madison. How big were you guys for the hard double there in the post? We've seen it. Yeah, we've seen it all year. So I thought other than Hayes had one turnover out of it in the first half, we tried to throw out the same side to Koenig. Um, at least we, we moved the ball out of it um, and did some decent things. It wasn't Our offense wasn't what got us in trouble tonight. It was our inability to stop them, specifically in the first half. We dug ourselves such a big hole, and we have not been that porous defensively, um, that disconnected or disjointed in a long time. Craig, you talked about sense of urgency. Does that surprise you that you didn't see more of it, considering everything that's on the line? Yeah. Um, you know, they're 18 to 22, so... Um, that's, yeah, I mean, we knew that, I, I knew we would get a different Ohio State team, though. That was one thing we had talked about, that I thought this group would would respond a little bit, meaning Ohio State's group, and we'd have to answer that specifically early. And by the time we started to answer it, you know, they were well, they were moving pretty well. Speaking of answers, you got, like, I think four times you got within single digits in the second half, and every time. Couldn't get a stop, right. right. And they'd also, I mean, in fairness, they, they hit some big shots. Oh, they did. Yeah, they answered. Anytime we would get crawl close, you know, they did answer with some pretty big shots. Um, you know, but I'm saying again, the, the telltale was the first half. I thought when we dug ourselves that that big a hole and gave up 44 points in the first half, um, that we were going to have a we we're going to have to be a heck of a lot better the second half. We were better the second half, but when you're when you've got that type of hill to climb, that makes it a lot more difficult. They obviously wanted to take the ball out of half. I hate to have to maybe guys shoot from the perimeter, but I know after the Maryland game, you said there are some times when we just determined hell or high water, we're going to pound the ball inside. Should you guys have done that or at least try to do it more in the first half? Well, we had Hap sitting on the bench with two fouls, okay. uh, Showalter on the bench with two fouls, Brown on the bench with two fouls. Um, so we got a little disjointed in terms of rotation, um, in terms of who was in there. and. You know, I think the we touched it. They made us do do a pretty good job of kicking it out. Um, but we go seven for 15 in the first half from three. You know, we weren't at one point per possession, but we were giving up way too much on the defensive end. It, it was still um, the defensive end of the floor that got us in trouble tonight. Not that it's any consolation, Greg, but Brownson broke out of his shooting slump. Does that give you hope? That yeah, I think. So. I mean. That's what I told the team. If we finally get the ball to go in after we've been scuffling for a month, and then we can't get stops. So um, we should have bottled some of the defense we were playing over the last month. But uh, yeah, I think hopefully we got some things going. You know, Vito knocked down some shots too. That was good to see a little bit of relief in his face. I thought Trice did some good things. Um, he showed some freshman moments as well. But. Um, you know, I thought even Alex L. Cannon at times, would, he got to the right spot on the floor. Nigel found him on the on when they uh, doubled um, him in the first half. So it was just trying. I was searching. I was searching for guys that were going to match what they were doing, and specifically from the defensive end and, and the rebounding end. I think we had 15 missed shots in the first half and only one offensive rebound. That That's why I was searching. Last question? Anyone else? All right, thank you. Thank you.